Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics and AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change and get a custom charging sound uh, anytime you plug in your iPhone into your charger. Now, this is specifically made for iOS 14 and it works on any iOS 14 device. So now we're just used to just the normal, regular sound uh, when we charge our device. And this is what it sounds like. So now we're used to this normal sound. But in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and change that. Uh, so the first thing that you're gonna do is just go ahead and open up the Shortcuts app. If you don't already have it, just search Shortcuts in the App Store. And then this is what the Shortcuts app looks like. So now what we're gonna do is just go on over to the Automation section right here. And then what we're gonna do is choose Personal Automation. And then once we do that, we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see Charger. And we're simply gonna tap on Charger. Then we're going to choose when your charger is connected. Uh, so we're just going to make sure this is uh, enabled. Then we're going to hit next. And then what we're going to do is just press on add action. And then once we press on add action, we are going to search. Set volume. And we're going to press on set volume. And then we're going to change it from 50% to 100%. And then we're going to hit the plus sign right here. And then we're going to search speak text. So we're going to uh, tap on speak text right here. And now we can change the speak text to anything. So the particular text could just say, so we could just say, thanks for plugging me in. Uh, so something like that. And then what we can do is simply tap on this arrow right here. And then I'll say, wait until finished. We can change the rate uh, of Siri and everything like that. And we can also change the pitch. And then we have the ability to change the language for Siri and the Siri voice as well. So now I can just hear it by just pressing on the play button. Thanks for plugging me in. And then we can just hit next. And then what we're gonna wanna do is turn off ask before running. And then once you do that, you're just gonna make sure you press don't ask. We can just hit done to save this new automation. So here we have it. So now we can just go back to the automation tab right here. And this is what it's gonna look like. So it just says uh, when my iPhone is connected to power, it will go ahead and speak. So now I can go ahead and try. Thanks for plugging me in. So that's what you can see it does. So it's just that simple. Uh, and we can just try it again. for plugging me in. Now the second part of this video is separate from using Siri to make the charging sound. It's actually having the MP3 file already on your device. Now the second part of this video is separate from using Siri to make the sound. It's already having an MP3 file on your device. Uh, so once you already have it on your device uh, and you can do it through Safari Download Manager and then it'll download the .mp3 directly onto your device, uh, what you can do is just simply go into the Files app and then into your downloads, and then just find wherever it is. So I have mine right here. And then I can just play the sound. So that's gonna be my new uh, charging sound anytime I plug in my charger. Uh, so now before I go ahead and get into that sound, what I'm gonna do is go into the shortcuts. And then what I'm gonna do is actually just uh, delete this. Uh, so this is just the one for Siri, so I'm just gonna delete it so it doesn't cause any problems. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is just go back into the Files app. And here is the sound that I'm gonna use. And now all I have to do is just simply uh, tap on the Share button right here. And then press on Copy. And now once I press on Copy, I'm gonna go into the Shortcut app. And then once I'm in the shortcut app, I'll normally be on this page. So now all I have to do is just go to the automation tab and then I'm gonna click on where it says create personal automation. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to where it says charger right here. And then I'm gonna make it be when charger is connected. I can also make it when it is disconnected, but I just wanna have it once. So I could hit next. And then I can press on add action. And then once I press on add action, I'm gonna search for encode. So I could just search for encode and then I'm gonna tap on base 64 encode. And then what I'm gonna do is just simply tap on input. And then you're gonna see it will say clipboard and current date. 
Uh, so now what I'm going to do is just simply go back and then I'm going to go into the sound and then I'm just going to tap on that share button again and then press copy and then I'm going to just simply go back just through multitasking like that and then I'm going to tap on clipboard. Now I'm going to tap on the play icon right here and then it's going to show me this huge paragraph here so this is what you want to see and then what you're going to do is just tap on the share button and then press copy. And then once you press copy, you're gonna hit next. And then once you hit next, uh, you're going to just simply press done. And then what you're gonna do is just simply tap on the shortcut again. And you're gonna see it will say under do, it will say base 64 encode. You're just simply gonna tap on that. And now what you're gonna do is simply search for text. And then you're gonna tap on it. And then once you search for text, you're gonna paste the code that you copied earlier. Press paste. And now you're gonna just simply press done. And then you're gonna search for another action. And you're simply gonna search for decode. And then you're gonna just choose base64 encode. And then once you tap on base64 encode, you're gonna change where it says encode. So you're gonna tap on it. You're gonna change it to decode. And then you can just preview the sound. So there you hear it. So now you're going to simply press done. So now you're going to go back to edit automation. And then you can just go ahead and press done to save. And then you're simply going to tap on it again. And where it says do, you're just simply going to press on it. And then you're just going to search for one more action. And it is play sound. And you're simply going to tap on it. And then it'll just have play sound right there. And then once again, you can preview it. So you can see it's working. And then what we can do is just simply go back one. Now, once you go back one, we're just going to turn off ask before running, then press don't ask. Then you're going to hit done. And now it will work. So now you can have a custom MP3 uh, charging sound. So now we can do the final test. So you can see it did work. So you can try it again. So you can see it did work and it was just that simple. So hopefully you thoroughly enjoyed this video on how to have a custom charging sound. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, go ahead and check out other videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. And I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is Albcritics. And thanks for watching. Thank you.